damn, you know, closing deal on a house attorney. If they yeah. were going to come back and fight this, they would have ponied up money and hired counsel. And I'll tell you why. Because any lawyer worth their salt would have immediately turned to YouTube and said, look at this circus. They would have immediately pointed to the front of the yard and said, look at this circus. And then yeah. after about the 19th body got found in all these state parks that they're all hanging out in, I would have painted the portrait of this magical, mystical serial killer that would have casted so much reasonable doubt he would have been home by Tuesday. Yeah, there was tons of ways to fight that case and get this boy out of this. Tons. I don't know about that one. I don't know about it. There was tons of ways to get it out of him, but he chose. Maybe not tons, but there was definitely an out. There was an argument. I've never found so many dead bodies in the same damn park. Everywhere they went looking for this kid, they found more dead people. I know, but there's it's like, <coughs> yeah, but I will tell you this: I, I learned enough in that Gavitito case, and I ain't ever hanging out in no state park camp. Right, the same ever. Thing as shit. I learned that too. That's like, I, I, I yeah, no way. Everybody goes to a national reserve; they die. I see why they call it the Pelletiers. People die out here. Should I be crying too? Hey, it used like... to be my favorite thing to do, and I'm not so sure I want to go do mm -hmm. that thing. Mm -hmm. hey, you know, mm -hmm. coming up missing in them state parks, though, man, that ain't nothing new. Hey, Kim, I was coming to yeah, the I know. called the, the missing 411. I'm telling you, I know that is older, but still, people come up missing all the time, and they get uh, yeah. two feet away from you. You turn and look at them, and they gone. Yeah, couple yeah. with no traits, and, and be coming yeah. up in weird ass just places, or they don't come up at all. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, man. That broke me to state parks. I mean, I go camp with a couple of my buddies and whatnot, but uh, to go hang out in any of these monumental state parks out in the middle of nowhere with caves and no, nope, no. I ain't going. I ain't going. I'm, I'm you ain't getting me going with a buddy. You ain't getting mm -hmm. me going with a group. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna I'm have to send going. Molly go light me to come and find my little it. Caucasian ass. I'm gonna be hiding up in a tree somewhere. Y'all gonna yeah, get Molly yeah, go light me to come save me. <laughs> I come save I, you. I come yeah, save I, you. No worries. Yeah. I come save you. Well, I'm gonna need somebody. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. Y'all let Molly and get her little goop trip on the gang. I'll still be there 17 years from now. They'll never find me. Uh, maybe yeah. if enough super yeah. chats they'll get me. But I said, I said that a long time ago. If I come up missing, please don't let them come over looking for me. Please yeah. don't. <laughs> don't don't send Molly, please man. Don't. Send. Send anybody, you know, send the Cub Scout, send a couple of K9 units. Please do not and send Molly. Dog. I mean, dog would be better than Molly. Uh, I tell, I tell, I take dog to back. Man, that's when I really knew she was full of shit. First time I was in her chat and uh, somebody beat me to the question I've been talking shit about for months was, uh huh, how many cases have you cracked, Molly? How, how many arrests have uh, you been privy to? I mean, I can point to a whole bunch of drama that really probably warrants jail time in the YouTube atmosphere. And I haven't known not one YouTuber yet to get a conviction. But go right ahead, Molly. How many cases have you and Scooby and the gang cracked? And uh, needless to say, I didn't get too many answers. But she did start telling the story about, I don't know, somebody they had. Uh, led police right to, but dog took the credit for it. I'm like, okay, so now it's dog the bounty yeah. hunter, huh? Dog, dog right. took your credit. Yeah, he really Everybody's needs the. Everybody's fault. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And see, that's another thing. Uh, you know, one of the first things about a detective, about any police work. I mean, don't get me wrong. You go through the academy. You go through training. You you learn some basic, uh, you know, prerequisite law in college. Sure. But you still have to have a couple of just natural traits, one of which needs to be instinctual gut instincts, the ability to read the room, to read the crowd, to kind of just have a good feel for human beings, their behaviors and how they act. And yeah, I but can't maybe, help but notice maybe it. Molly's like Inspector Gadget. She's going to stumble into the crime. <laughs> and, and just go stumble into everything. Back there's somebody it. behind I, her. Like, remember the dog brain? Uh, Columbo? Yeah, like somebody, <laughs> you know, like, pull the strings just, and, Accidentally go -go. Good job, uh, Uncle Gadget. Go go Molly Purse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go go um, Molly Skank Bank. I mean, but I do. I think that that's, if nothing else, people who are watching this bullshit train wreck unfold, ask yourself this. So far in 90 days, I've okay. watched her have four or five major falling outs, four or five big blow ups. And these were all people. That two weeks ago, she told you how great they were, how they were awesome people, how they were part of her team, and her team will not be broken. And I don't care if you like Betty or not. She's part of my team, and my team is. Well, she's quality people. <laughs> but yet, two weeks later, they have a giant falling out. And every time you ask her about this falling out, it's always Molly, them. Though. I don't want to fight with Molly because I'm trying to get the tickle for you. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get that tickle. So we're going to have to pull Ooh, her off to okay? another day, baby girl. I'm trying to get the tickle you for you. You okay? You need some water? Yeah. Uh, no, a uh, good hit. <laughs> oh, okay. That was I was right, man. I was right. 
I'm gonna join you with that right now, my damn self. Why not? We That's all celebrate. We take a, a quick pause for the cause. Here's to you, Molly. Uh, unlike you, I have to pay for mine, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> it ain't on the wish list. I don't think Amazon's got that up there. Yet. Not yet. But, soon, uh, though. Soon. It, it's coming. Hey, it's coming. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, I saw your nice little grow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I live in a state where uh, it's legal, uh, recreational. Yeah, look good. Um, yeah, like, you know, Which shout out me to out. my sponsors, Mars wait, Hydro. Wait. All right. <laughs> really? Awesome. <laughs> You if you have told me, code doctor, and you will save ten percent on all your Mars Hydro products if you're a grower or cultivator out there. They're not the uh, official sponsor for this podcast yet, but maybe soon to come. I was going to say, if you really got that, cool. that's I dope do. as I shit. Do. I'm sponsored by. I'm one hundred percent sponsored by Mars Hydro. That's the shit. Yeah, that's Jimmy, the shit. you, you want to see something cute? That's so cool. Uh, oh, that is cute. Is that an yeah. elephant? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, Tad, that's what's and up. And I'm sponsored by the Seed Bank, so. Damn, seriously? Mm -hmm. Awesome. You hear this? Skank Bank, my, you're up, lady. That's why my stuff's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Dude, see, that's like, if you smoke, I can't believe like Virginia's smoke, a legal state. You would state. have to be Molly Rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I can't believe, man. I remember when Virginia passed it, too. Uh, dude, I, I, I ain't gonna lie to 